Uh, I thought I'd go up for a little motorcycle ride today. Beautiful day, the sun's out. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, let's go over and get the bike fired up. Oh, where is it? Hey, oh, there it is, over there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I thought we'd go take a bike ride. What a beautiful day it is. Let's uh, get on and fire it up. Okay, turn it on. Looks like she's fired up and ready to go. We're ready to go on a bike ride. nuts. I'm not ready for any bike ride. What am I? <laughs> I gotta be serious. I've gotta be serious. I'm not ready for a bike ride. Beautiful day. Ready to go. Have some fun. I haven't even looked at the bike. I haven't done anything. I got a hat. Where's my helmet? Where are my gloves? Where's my jacket? I don't have any of it. So you know what I have to do? I gotta go back into the house and start all over again and get it right. Put my riding pants on. Some long socks. on, got my dungarees on, and now I need a jacket. Should be able to see quite well. It's got the red, it's got this, these pieces in here that reflect at night. They don't do much in the daytime, but they're good at night. Uh, it's red and black. I kind of like it. Fits nice. Good support here and my back and the elbows and everything, so that's great. Zip this up. Now here's something I want to share with you, which I've never had before, and I just started wearing the last few weeks. I went to a, um, I went to a riding school, which was um, how to lead and sweep in group rides, you know, and uh, the two instructors were wearing these, bright yellow vests, and they put them right over their jacket. And they're nice, if you can see real close, they're, um, they're very um, porous, so it's not going to be, um, it's not going to make you sweat on a hot day. So, I said, eh, yeah, that, boy, can you be seen. So then I, I watched the guys on the bikes that had these on, the two guys that had them on. You can see them from miles. They're very, very, very visible. And so I bought one. And I'll list down below where you can get them. They're available in a lot of places. I think you can buy them at a truck stop. <laughs> but uh, they, um, the reason I like this is you can be seen. And the idea of being out there on the bike is if they can't see you, they're probably going to hit you. So I want to be seen, so maybe they won't hit me. Next one I want to show you is the Center 30K that I use on my motorcycle, built-in, speakers, microphone, speed dial, mesh technology, Bluetooth, it's got everything. It really works great. Uh, the thing that I like about it is that I can put three speed dial numbers in here and I can speak voice command. I can say speed dial 1, speed dial 2, or speed dial 3. Speed dial 3, I have 911 in there, so if I'm riding along the bike and something happens, I can say speed dial 3, it'll call 911 immediately and 
I've got emergency service or whatever that needs to be. If some if there's an accident in front of me, something happens, I can I can call the police rather than reaching into my pocket or into my bag or something and trying to get the phone out and fumble around. I'd have to come to a complete stop probably to to dial out. This gives me immediate immediate action, so I like that. So that's my center. Uh, I'll put a link to that down here in the bottom too. I really like the center. It's high technology. I love the mesh. I did a video on it, I think, earlier. I love the mesh technology. It really works great. And uh, a charge on this lasts about 16 hours. It's really, really good. Okay, so on with the helmet. Okay, I'm putting this on the side of my helmet. I can take it into a restaurant or anywhere we go. I stick it on the side like that. It clicks. You can hear it click nice and loud. It's not going to go anywhere. All right. Got my sunglasses. Got my gloves on. Put the helmet down. Now, we're ready to go for a motorcycle ride. So let's go out and get on the motorcycle and take it for a ride. Why not? Good day to do it. It's a beautiful day down here in Central Florida. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the bike's ready to go. I'm ready to go. Now, for all you smart guys out there, am I really ready to go? No. I'm not ready, am I? What do I have to do next? What do I do next? I don't just get on the bike and ride it, do I? We need to check the bike out before we get on it. I mean, you just can't go jumping on the bike without giving a thorough check. So what I've done is, I'm going to use... Um, I think it's the Motorcycle Safety Foundation. They have a really nice checklist called T Clocks, T dash C L O C S, and each letter stands for something you can check on the bike. So the T, we'll take the first one. The T stands for tires and tire pressures. And so, what you need is a quality, uh, a quality tire pressure monitor, which I have here sitting on my seat and you want to check, check the tire pressures carefully make sure you put them right in the cold not hot cold so before I go out in the morning I always always check, check my tire pressures they're not always the same sometimes I have to add pressure sometimes I don't I have one of those little pumps over here so I can pump up the uh, tires if I need to and the other thing you want to do I like to put my bike on the center stand and so I can check the tires for nails. I had a, a situation here just a few weeks ago. I came out here and went to get on. I was going to get on the bike. I was in a rush and I was almost going to skip checking my tires. And guess what? Right over here was a big ass nail right in, uh, right in my tire. Not this tire, but in the tire. So that was that for that ride and we got the tires fixed. I actually got two new tires because I was there at 10,000 miles. I figured I might as well put new ones on. So, I got some Michelin tires, um, which I really like, and uh, bike bike feels great under under your butt with these tires on the bike. So anyway, check the tires, then check the air pressures, check them cold. That's the first step. So that was the T and T clocks. The next thing we want to talk about is uh, the very next letter, which is C, which stands for controls and we want to look at things like uh, levers and pedals and cables and hoses and your throttle. One of the things about the throttle you should check um, I think is uh, when when you uh, when you go to the, let me use my other hand so you can see, when you go to the throttle and you start the bike up what you should do is give it a couple of flicks make sure it doesn't stick there, there's a cable, maybe a kink in the cable or something like that you want to make sure all your all your uh, gears here look good. Everything's in good shape. Everything's everything's in working order. Um, check that out. Make sure your handlebars turn right. Nothing's 
There are no cables down in there that are binding or anything like that. Make sure you're comfortable. Everything seems right. Uh, give it a good go over. The next thing we want to talk about is the L in clocks. Um, that's your battery, your headlamps, your tail lamp, your brake lamp, turning signals, switches, mirrors, lenses, and wiring. Um, I think the biggest thing out of all of those, of that group, uh, one of the biggest ones, is to make sure when you get on your bike, you don't, don't wait till you get going down the street and set your uh, mirrors. Make sure you set your mirrors while you're in the garage or when you're going out uh, before you get on the street if you can do it. Next one in the list is the on clocks is the O and that's the oil and other filters I mentioned that earlier check your oil levels also the other thing that I would do is I would uh, I would check for any uh, leaks you might have I would look carefully on the uh, on the side of the bike the next one in clocks is the C that stands for chassis and um, the frame the suspension the chain or belt whatever you have, if you have a chain or a belt, and fasteners. Take a look around, make sure everything is, uh, looks okay, there are no leaks or tears or something has come disconnected. Remember that the, the motorcycle does vibrate quite a bit and when it does vibrate that much you're going to have uh, some things maybe come loose. So good walk around, a good check visual and touch uh, to see if everything uh, is good. But again, back to those tires the most important one of the tires, I think. The tires and the tire inflation can make you have a nice, really, really nice day or make it one nasty day. The last one on the clocks is the S, the very last letter. And that basically talks about um, center stand and the side stand. I have my bike on the center stand right now. Uh, make sure the springs are all okay, nothing's falling off. <laughs> And uh, also make sure your side stand is working okay and the spring works and locks. So check that out. Make sure everything is okay there. And I think that's about it. If you've got all these things checked, but I would start with tire pressures. I'll say it again. Tire pressures, number one. Uh, tire condition, number two. No nails. Be able to spin the front tire and the rear tire. I, I only did the... I only did the uh, one tire, but I would I would spin both tires and uh, or roll both tires. If you don't have it on a center stand, just roll the bike back and forth so you can see what it looks like. I try to I try to time that with when I'm trying to find the the um, um, stem where I put the air in and I uh, I'll roll the tire. I'll know where the tire is uh, on its circle and I can check the tire condition and make sure those damn nails aren't in there. That's the one. Big nemesis could really make a lousy ride. So everything else, you know, that seems to fall in. The other th two things I like to have is a full tank of gas and an empty bladder. Full tank of gas and an empty bladder. That really helps. Nothing worse than going on a ride with a group or with two or three other people. And uh, you have to stop because you didn't empty your bladder. So remember to do that when you're going. And the other thing, check your lights. Make sure your brake lights are working before you go out. Your direct your signals, your, uh, all your signals, all your lights work. And uh, here in Florida, uh, you're allowed to keep your high beam on during uh, daylight hours. So I leave my high beam on. And uh, hopefully that helps me be seen too. I do go to low beam if it's at night, but a high beam uh, I leave it on, so I would suggest you do that too if that's okay to do in your state. So have a fun ride, but have a safe ride so you can come back tomorrow and do it again. It's so much fun to go riding, uh, but it sucks if something's wrong with your bike, that's for sure. So enjoy. I hope this is helpful. If you have any other suggestions or uh, hints that we might include, um, or ask a question, or have a comment, please uh, drop it in below, and if you get a chance, Hit the subscribe button. We can use subscribers. We're trying to get to a thousand. And um, also, if you like the video, hit the like button. Thanks. Now we're all the conditions for going for a ride. And finally, we're ready to go for a ride. Check the tires. Just finished checking the tires. Everything looks great. Got my tank bag on. 
We're going to start her up, and this time we're really on going for a ride. Have a great day.